for life? All right. All right, so thanks everyone for bringing with us. We're hoping that this um, refresh maybe improves the audio, but again, we are working on our audio in this room <laughs> and hope to get that going, um, get that improvement happening soon. So, um, so we'll move on to our business meeting. I will call this to order. Um, it is Thursday, September 9th at 6.25 p.m. in the Central Building Central Court Conference Room. And uh, please rise for the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Make a motion to approve the agenda. I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. Sorry. Uh, first and a second, any discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries unanimous. Uh, recognition of visitors. We don't have anyone here in person, but we did receive an email um, in the last few days that I will read. And this person has actually sent two emails um, since our last meeting. Um, so I just that they're essentially the same topics. I'm going to read the most recent one. Um, and I hope that's okay. Um, Robin the Great sent this on August 28th, and she says, uh, Dear school leaders, as a parent of a child in Hartley who cannot get the vaccine yet, I am very concerned about the rate of people with positive test results for COVID-19, especially in our county. This week's report from MDH shows that Wasika County has one of the highest rates of cases per 10,000 people. Recently, an outbreak in Albert Lee schools has forced almost 300 students to quarantine, with 36 people having tested having positive test results, according to the Star Tribune. Their superintendent is quoted to have said that he didn't think the year would start out like this. Please, let's not start our school year in the same way. Let's try to minimize the spread to our students and staff with a stricter COVID-19 preparedness plan. I am asking that we require masks of all students and staff in our buildings. I am also asking for a revision to the quarantine procedure for people who are not vaccinated. Please amend the required quarantine period to seven days with a negative test on or after day five for people in the class or home with a positive case, as the CDC is recommending. It's my understanding that the school has or will have access to more tests that they can administer or send home with students and staff. Hopefully there will be less barriers to testing the staff and students this year so we can minimize the spread of this virus. As discussed by Superintendent Husband, many things can change quickly with this virus and our plans need to adapt to new trends in data. I'm hopeful that these mitigation strategies will not need to be in place all year. However, based on current data, it seems like we need to be more cautious in regards to the health of the students and staff in our community. Thank you for your time. Sincerely, Robin Negrete. So thank you for emailing us. And I think we did address a couple of things earlier um, with your update. And also I just want to remind people that we have updated um, our website and right on the very top right corner, you can see what our current uh, COVID-19 plan is. And there's some good links for that. So um, no other emails, Caitlin, I'm assuming. Nope. Um, anyone that wishes to send comments can Send an email to Wasika District at gmail.com and I will read your email at the next meeting. Moving on then to our action items. Uh, can I get a motion for we're all in Roman numerals today? <laughs> um, so item five. I'll make a motion to approve the purchase of service agreements for mental health services for uh, school year 2021-2022 through the Wasika Area Schools Therapeutic Program. Second. First and a second. And just real quick, can you kind of, I mean, I'm assuming we've had the same, but can you explain what it is? Yeah, these are all of our, essentially what you're going to see is many uh, approvals here for our contracted services for agencies that come in and work with our students when we don't have the in-house for, for therapeutic need. And as maybe the newer person, is this typical that this meeting or the meeting about this time would go through all of the same type of things that we Yeah. It, ideally, we would hope to have them in the August meeting, which is why we're having it this kind of this meeting now, so we don't delay any longer. But uh, the way the monthly calendar shook out in August, we had, we had a pretty early second meeting in August, so some things kind of tail behind. Yeah, we don't often have a business meeting as part of our workshop, but once in a while things pop up that we don't want to wait till our regular business meeting, and this would be a good example of. Right. So, all right. Um, any other discussion about this item? Okay. Hearing none, then I will call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? 
Motion carries unanimous. Can I get a motion for item six? I'll make a motion to approve the purchase of service service agreement with Adara Home Health Inc. for skilled nursing services. First and second, any discussion? Hearing none, I will call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries unanimous. Make a motion for item seven. I will make a motion to approve the instruction of staff agreement between ISD 29 Mosica and ISD 2835 to Physical Therapist, Special Education, Administration, Early Childhood. Various others. Yes. Etc. Etc. I have a first. Can I get a second? Second. In which district it is to a three five? Uh, uh, yeah. from J to G, Janesville, all of Pemberton. It's 235 and uh, Water Village and Morris Thomas, 2143. So, all of these are, this is just our co op, special, our cooperative agreement for our special ed services. Yeah, so, so we house so it Heather here. And Heather and Linda serve all those districts yes. as well as us. And this is just our annual project. Right. Based on the needs that come in through actually through enrollment at the okay. end of August, this is how much of each time people will need. Share those services. All right, so this is what this is item seven is for Wasika and GWP. So. Can I ask a general for these ones with the other schools? Mm -hmm. Is there anything significant this year from last year's? Nothing really different, you mean? No. Yeah. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries unanimous. You get a motion for item eight. I'll make a motion to approve uh, the instructional staff agreement between ISD 29 Wasika and ISD 2143 Fire Lake Morristown for actually the same services as the last one various occupational, special education, etc. Second. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, first and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, I will call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries unanimous. I get a motion for item nine. I'll make a motion that we uh, approve instructional staff sharing agreement between um, Wasika and Team Academy Charter School for the same solutions. Or slightly different. No, no. It's not as many. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The reason for that? Yeah, because team isn't the as much different service. You know, there's many students that are different. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they're only to a grade six, six, right? I'll second. First and a second, so. Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries unanimous. So you can go and read it all yourself. It's under the school board page. So, um, any other discussion? Yes. This doesn't have to do with team, but do we provide any services for Sacred Heart through this co op? Uh, no, it's not listed the same way because the statute requires that we do have to provide services for special education to our non publics. So that's just included in our everyday operations. I'm okay. a separate motion that we do for this type of things. So in this, in this model, we potentially are going to be working through some tuition rates and through some staff sharing in terms of cost. That's not the same with Sacred Heart because we just have to provide those services as part of our requirement. Any further discussion? All right, carrying on, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries unanimous. I get a motion for item 10. I'll make a motion to approve the instructional staff agreement between Mosica and Richmond Hart and Bellville, Geneva for almost the same listing as we had in all the previous, plus a couple extras. <laughs> Very good. Uh, first and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries unanimous. Uh, can I get a motion for item 11, which is our employment and contract agenda? You don't need to read all of those. <laughs> I'll make a motion for, to approve the employment and contract agenda as presented. Second. Okay. 
person or second any discussion. Is there anything there that's no, of just, note, I guess, more? New employees, um, yeah. calls, sports, all that kind of well, stuff. Yeah, would, again, this would typically be part of the consent agenda, but yeah. when we came in late August. Any other discussion? Okay, none I'll call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. Uh, uh, make a motion for item 12. I'll make a motion that we approve the length contract for director of innovation and career pathways for the 2021 2022 school year. Okay. First and a second. Any yeah, discussion? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to see you guys with this. I don't know. Yeah. And we, and we did discuss this as a personnel committee, this and uh, the next item as well. So. All right, if there's no further discussion, I will call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimous. <clears throat> uh, can I get a motion for item 13? I'll make a motion that we approve the 2021-2022 contract with Jenny Pena for communication assistance. First and a second, any discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries unanimous. All right, that is the end of our action items for this meeting. Um, a couple board updates, just a reminder that the Westika Marching Classic returns this year and will be on September 18th, should be a great event. Um, and then our next meeting, which is our a regular board meeting, is Thursday, September 23rd. Any other updates? Just with that band concert, they're still looking for hosts. Yes. There's nothing else to talk about? I got a lot of things. All right, can I get a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Okay. okay. We are adjourned. Before you stand on the you want to my aunt's Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, now.